See, right now she's sucking on her thumb, but at some point we got to get some solids into this one. Nanny Rubina is here to get your infants and your toddlers eating. Now, this is Stella, six months old, uh, and this is her mom, Lucy. She has never had solids before. No, she's had solids. Has she Sorry, had solids? She's had solids. She's had cereal, okay. but this is her first vegetable, and guess what it is? What is it? Green beans. Good thing you started her on that Green stuff. Green beans. Right. Yeah, so she well, won't have a comparison. Exactly. So so let me tell you about when you're introducing. I can't what do you think, think Stells? Mmm, mm, yummy. Oh, now there's she probably, likes. You see, there's probably a few moms out there. She's like, you know what? Do you have any chocolate? <laughs> All right, I guess. There's probably Give me a few one. moms out there that have introduced to something like sweet potatoes first and have been met with a slightly different face when <laughs> green beans have come along. Because often if you've introduced a sweet food, when you introduce a vegetable after, even though, you know, obviously sweet potato is a fruit, it's sweeter, it can be a bit of a struggle to get it down the baby. One of the things you have to keep in mind, however, is persevere. Mm -hmm. Don't give it, and I've had mom say, can I add a bit of sweet potato to the green beans? No, you can't. You can't no. make everything sweet. No, 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 no. You've got to persevere and get it. You know, obviously the baby does come around. It's just a different taste. So now the when rules you... are basically start with the veggies that ah, are not going to be so sweet. The ones it that really is like a better way to go. and green beans. You're not going to feel stuff. so rejected. Honestly, okay. it is definitely a better way to go. And keep trying. Obviously, and then again, you're starting off with very soft, very liquidy foods when yes. it's the first baby food, but in no time at all probably within a week or so, your baby will actually start moving up to thicker foods. Okay, oh, right. A week or so. You Sorry. enjoy that, a Stella. So. There's better things to come, I promise you. <laughs> Sweet potatoes are in your future. Yes. Okay, so, this so is Deegan. This is Deegan. We're moving on to baby foods of nine months now. So we've done the very soft foods, and now we take it up a notch, because once your baby's actually had the very soft foods and gone to a slightly thicker texture, you uh -huh. can start incorporating chunkier foods, but very, very soft. Okay, we don't want any chunky hard carrots we want soft foods but a slightly thicker texture and okay. again do it at your own comfort level now besides actually having uh, soft chunkier foods it's also time to incorporate little bits of food on the tray okay so to get his fine motor skills working so and he's you actually very capable there? so your his mom is melissa melissa what are you feeding him this is greek yogurt and just mashed up banana oh nice okay so he can handle that and over here he's got strawberries and cheese he didn't want to share any of the cheese with me but that's okay <laughs> that's I'm it i'm not mad at you <laughs> deacon you know what? Cheese. There you go. And at nine months, you want to start having their, you know, getting them to use their fine motor skills. Yeah. Taking little tiny bit, bits of food, very soft, keep it soft, and they're going to start, you know, feeding themselves with the little pinches. He can also even start using the spoon already. Oh, yes. He's actually yes. using yes. it yes. properly. Yes. Yes. So that is yes. amazing. Good stuff, yep. Deegan. Absolutely. Okay, great. let's That's move on. That's a great time to, to actually put, to... The, uh, put, put the spoon in their hand. Absolutely. Let's move on to 12 months uh, and 24 months. As you can see, Deegan was sitting in that chair, which oh. was a high chair. It's the same chair, but it's it become a booster seat. That's right. And later so on, when they get older, it becomes a toddler chair. It's it's, it's pretty pretty darn fabulous. That's cool. So let me tell you, it's very economically friendly. <laughs> it's it's actually by a company called Ingenuity. Okay. Okay. And you can get it at Walmart.ca, and it goes through exactly through three stages so you can have it as a baby mm -hmm. it becomes a booster seat and then you've got a seat there for an older toddler very and actually nice. the the other the third stage that it comes it's very contemporary looking yeah no very, it's very, very 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 nice chair. you get that yeah. at any restaurant so this is uh ruby and yeah. she's one year old yeah. right ruby's one year old so we've gone from chunkier soft foods and we're really coming into at 12 months old pretty much introducing almost everything that we are eating right now right but again it still has to be very small it has to be very soft now one of the things that i do come across is parents will often sort of just stick to very sloppy foods still if you do that too late if you don't take it up a notch sometimes it can be rejected by your baby it's actually harder if you don't make that transition at the right time okay and so your baby should be able to eat many of the foods that you are what i will hear is she doesn't have teeth she doesn't need teeth your babies will actually chew almost everything and anything with their gums okay, okay. Yeah. what about meat me absolutely she can yeah. eat. she can actually chew meat so what i find is if you don't get you know 
First of all, the brown part of the chicken tends to be softer than the chicken breast. Mm -hmm. Although people say they want to introduce chicken breast because it tends to be healthier. They're not mm -hmm. Weight Watchers at this point. They, <laughs> the, the, the little bit of fat <laughs> is okay. Let them enjoy it now because you'll probably take it away when they're 18. So, you know, <laughs> just let them have the brown meat. It is softer for them to chew. And if you struggle with that, try some of the deli meats because many of the deli meats today are nitrate free. Okay. So they're actually, you know, uh, go out there, do a little research and, and get some meats down them. Absolutely. She's loving it. The broccoli and the blueberry superfoods. They're making her little feet dance. I love it. <laughs> That's the reaction you want. So this is Lila now, uh, 24 months, so two years old. Obviously, she's a good eater, huh? She's a very good eater. She eats better than my four-year-old. Yes. Oh, so good. Yes. There's such a relief as a parent when you have a child who eats. Yes. It makes you feel so much better about things. So she's got her yogurt. She's got her uh, wow butter sandwich or a peanut butter sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody wants your sandwich. <laughs> so what are Nothing the wrong with sharing for when you get to about two years old? So you're pretty much eating what your parents you eat, right? You definitely do, but again, um, this is a stage that babies of this age, little children, little toddlers, they tend to graze. And ah. what I will find is a lot of parents will complain she won't sit down to a full meal. Well, yeah. you know what? They're not really conditioned to sit down and eat mashed potatoes and a whole roast chicken with you. Children through the toddler years tend to want to graze, so they want lots of little finger foods. They'll probably prefer that over sitting down and having a full meal. But eventually, they will actually come up to actually, you know, eating foods like you do. And they will grace you at the table. Yeah. But there comes a time when they just want to grace. And yes, you're absolutely right. They can eat anything and everything that we're eating. Oh, very yeah. nice. Okay, well, we uh, have been doing my milestone year all year. Thank mm -hmm. you for the information on feeding the babies. My milestone year I started because I turned 40 this year. I wanted every month to mean something. So I have a different challenge every month. This month, I'm focusing on volunteering in my community. Always been a big proponent of volunteering. It makes you feel good. I think we're here on earth to give back. So I hang out with a lot of young girls who are into fitness and sort of feeling good and having a good self-esteem. That's Girls on the Run. Also, I read with Ladies on the Rise and, uh, and Girls on the Rise in Rexdale um, a few times a year. So I'm also going to be part of a very big campaign, and that's going to launch on March 12th. Uh, a ton of people involved in it. I want you to definitely follow at CityLine CA, at Tracy CityLine, my Instagram account and my Twitter to find out about that. But I want to know what your goals are too. So post a pic, make sure you hashtag it, my milestone year, share your monthly goals with us, and remember that hashtag so we can include you in our monthly roundup.